Good. So if I was going to do a problem like this, um, what I'd make sure, what I want to do is remember when we have a, a compound inequality, there's a couple ways we can do it. We could separate it into two separate inequalities, or what we can do is we can solve this compound inequality as just one inequality. So if I have negative 6 is less than b minus 4, which is less than 2. Remember, when we want to solve, we want to get our variable by itself. So right now I have my variable being subtracted by 4. So to get the variable by itself, I can add 4. Now remember, when we had equations, or we just had inequality, we'd always like add whatever you added to one side, you'd have to add to the other side. Well, here I kind of have you know three separate um, sides here. You've got the, you have a, a left side, a middle, and a right. Well, what I'm going to do is since I'm adding four in the middle, I'm going to now want to add four to the both the left and the right. Therefore, negative six plus four is a negative two, is less than b, which is now less than six. So if I want to graph this. I say, all right, it's going to go between negative 2 and it's going to be between 6. So say like 0, negative 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. All right, so what it says is negative, so it says b, and always remember, if you want to say this out loud, just always say it with the variable first. b is greater than negative 2. So that means all numbers that are greater than negative 2. And then this one says b is less than 6. So it says b has to be greater than negative 2, but it also has to be less than negative 6. So it's going to be all the values in between negative 2 and 6. One last thing you need to make sure, remember your circles for your given points are not going to be filled in because, remember, this is a less than or equal to. I'm sorry, it's a less than, not a less than or equal to. So remember, whenever it's less than or greater than, we're going to leave it as open circles. Okay? I got you.